Hey guys, welcome back. So now we're working on number nine, and number nine says find all the solutions of the equation sine of x equals root three over two, for which zero is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to pi. So the first thing we have to know and notice is that this, oops, sorry, is that the sine of x is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And I like to use a little trick, so katoa. Okay, so going from there, we know that since the sine of x is equal to root three over two, root three is equal to the opposite side and two is equal to the hypotenuse. So let me go ahead and draw a triangle, something like that. So now let's go ahead and label our sides so this here is going to be a length of, oops, that's another triangle. <laughs> All right, so this side is gonna be a length of two. This is a 90 degree angle. And the opposite side is going to be rad three. So if you do notice, if you're familiar with special triangles, this is kind of gonna jump out at you and you're gonna say, oh, this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Because in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that this is always true. I'm not gonna use my nice triangle drawer, sorry. So this is two, well, I should say two x, this is x rad three, and this is x, and this is 60 degrees, and this is 30 degrees. So what that means is that these, it's always gonna be two times some number, always gonna be rad three times some number, and this side is just gonna be that number. So that means your triangle could look like this, let's say two rad three one, in that case, this is if, we let x equal to 1, or if x is equal to 2, then we would have something like this. This side would be 2, this side would be 4, and this side would be 2 rad 3. But the point is, is that in all of these triangles I just drew, well, terribly drawn triangles, um, these angles, this would always be 60 degrees, and this would always be 30 degrees, because these triangle are, triangles are similar. They're just getting bigger or smaller, but the angles aren't actually changing. So again, this was 60 and this was 30. So again, I kind of tipped you off, going back to our actual triangle, I kind of tipped you off on what the answer is gonna be, but if you weren't sure, you could always use the Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, you would just call this side A, you would do A squared plus rad three squared equals two squared, you'd solve for A, but to cut out that entire step, we know that in this case, this side here is just gonna be one. And that's because this side is two, so if we set that equal to our 2x and solve for x, we would just get that x equals 1. So going from there, that means that this angle here is going to be 60 degrees, and this angle here is going to be 30 degrees. So now let's revisit the question, and it says find all the solutions of the equation sine x equals rad 3 over 2, for which 0 is less than x or is less than or equal to pi. So let's talk about what we know now. Since in this case, the opposite side is um, rad three, so this is the opposite, and this is the hypotenuse, we know that our angle is going to be this angle here because this is the opposite side and this is the hypotenuse. So that means that the sine of 60 degrees is equal to rad three over two. And if you know this off the top of your head, you're going to know that the sine of 60 is equal to pi over three. If you're not sure what you can do is, let me erase this. Let's just cut all this out. Okay, so if you're not sure, you can always do 60, de oops. You can always do 60 degrees times, this just stands for times, 180 degrees in pi. So in this case, this is called dimensional analysis. I reviewed this in one of my past videos. I believe it was video maybe two or three. But essentially, you start with what you know here, and then you use your conversion factor here. So your conversion factor is something that you know from prior knowledge. In this case, it's that 180 degrees is equal to pi. So now if you were, if you were to simplify this, you could cancel that out, make it a 1, cancel that out, make it a 3, you get pi over 3. So we know that pi over 3 is one solution. However, since it says find all of the solutions, when you think about sine, let's say this is a unit circle, we know that sine is gonna be positive in quadrants one and quadrants two. 
not in quadrants three and quadrants four. And that's because sine is positive when the y values are positive. Again, if you do have any questions on this, I recommend going back and reviewing some of the other videos because I definitely covered this topic in my past videos in a little bit more depth. So that might be helpful. So now what we can do, since we know that sine is positive in both quadrants one and quadrants two, we know that there are gonna be two solutions. However, if we actually look at our answer choices now, we see that the only one with pi over three is letter choice B here. And the only reason there are two of them is again because sine is positive in both the first and second quadrants. But the answer is B. You could go ahead and check out two pi over three if you'd like, but for me, that's good enough to say that the answer is B. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. If you do have any questions, I am a math tutor and my email will be in the description box. All right, thank you for watching.